A lot of you guys have asked about the sound that comes just before launch on a Titan II missile, the one that launched the Gemini program. So that's what we're going to talk about today in very brief on Vintage Space. So this one's a little bit rough, because I am not a rocket scientist. I just talk about rocket science, but we're going to attempt to do just a little bit of rocket science today. NASA used a civilian version of the Titan II missile to launch the Gemini mission. This missile, unlike the Saturn V that launched Apollo to the moon, it used hypergolic fluids. That means it didn't need an ignition source to burn. Hypergols burn on contact, so all that really needs to happen is you open a valve, the two mix, and then they burn. In this case, the fuel for the Titan II was Aerozine 50 as the fuel and nitrogen tetroxide as the oxidizer. So for the time being, we're going to talk about the Titan's first stage. So if you think about a first stage rocket or any rocket sitting on a launch pad, the fuel and oxidizer tanks are in the body with the engine down below. The fuel and oxidizer has to feed into that engine's combustion chamber before it can burn to provide the thrust to lift that rocket off the launch pad. If the tanks are pressurized, the sheer force of gravity will actually feed those two fuels, the oxidizer and the fuel, into the combustion chamber to start that reaction. The starter cartridge was essentially a small engine or motor that, when the propellants ignited, produced hot gases. The force of this hot gas moving under pressure accelerated a turbine and got it spinning very rapidly. The turbine, moving through a gear train, drove the fuel and oxidizer pumps that in turn delivered the propellant, the fuel and the oxidizer, into the combustion chamber where their reaction could begin. The starter cartridge in the Titan II burned for only about a second, and it came with this very distinctive noise that now that I'm going to make it right here, you're definitely going to hear it in the launch. It kind of sounds like a ooh. Three, two, one, zero. It's that start cartridge starting the turbo pump spinning that makes that noise. Does that explain it, or do I need to do a better job at this? If you still have questions, definitely leave them below. This is something I'm going to dig into a little bit more, because again, not a rocket scientist, guys. And if you have other questions about the Gemini program or any other space things, leave them in the comment section as well. And of course, your questions and ideas for future episodes. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for daily Vintage Space content. And with new episodes going up every single Tuesday and Friday, don't forget to subscribe right here so you never miss an episode.